Welcome to the Yellow and Luna channel. On today's video, I'm opening up a full case of Coco Ya. And before we get into the video, I will mention I was gifted this full case of Coco Ya from Kika Goods. This is the second time Kika Goods has sent me over blind boxes, and if you're not familiar with Kika Goods, I do have a review on my channel of a purchase I made before they sent me any blind boxes. So I'll link that video right now if you want to check it out, but for this video, I'm going to be opening up this full case of Coco Ya that they sent me. And I picked out Coco Ya because it was Lolita themed and I thought that was super cute. I do love Lolita fashion. I only have one like knockoff Lolita dress that's supposed to be a fake Angelica pretty. I've never really gotten into actually wearing Lolita but I do love the style and I thought these were super cute and brand new so I thought it would be fun to open them up on the channel. So for our Coco Ya series, we have eight blind boxes in the full case and the packaging is super cute and is very pastel and sticks to that Lolita theme. So I am super excited to open these up and have a look at each one that we get. And if we have a look at the packaging, it's just absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited to be unboxing this on my channel. There is eight possibilities and only one secret edition. I'll put the secret edition up on the screen. My favorite one is the last one. I think it looks like a kind of gothy card captor Sakura. And I think almost every figure for this series comes with an accessory. So we should have lots of accessories. And I think this series looks so cute. Do you have a particular favorite out of these that you would love to get? Let me know down below, and if you've bought in this series, also let me know down below. We were talking about it in my last live stream, and it sounded like a lot of you had picked up Coco Ya, yeah, which I was really surprised by, just because the brand I've never really heard of before, and the series I've never really heard it before either. I believe this is the first series of Coco Ya, yeah, but you really can't go wrong with Lolita fashion. Alright, let's go ahead and open up the first box. I'm really excited to see what's inside. And it looks like we have a big, just one of those plain white bags with the logo of the brand on it. And I do feel some plastic inside, so it does look like it comes in a bit of a plastic sleeve. Let's pull it out and see... Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at this. So the accessories come attached to the figure. So most of them or all of them should be in this plastic. Wow, this figure looks beautiful. And they do come with a stand. It just dropped on the ground. So I'm going to set it up on the stand before showing you it. And here's a look at our first card for Coco. Yeah, it's super cute. I love how adorable the card is. And we just have a QR code on the back. And I'll put the name of our cute little figure up on the corner so you can see the name. And here's a look at our first figure. And this one has beautiful gray hair with this beautiful multi-shifting paint on it. So you can see in the light, it's this beautiful purpley pink. But when you look at the figure straight on, it's definitely supposed to be gray hair. I love this. And this figure has so much attention to detail for the Lolita outfit. Outfit. And it does come with like a lollipop designed wand. Mine is broken even though it came in the plastic to protect it. It definitely is not fitting great in the hand. I don't even think you would notice if you put glue on it. Hopefully the other ones don't come broken like this one. And the face is so pretty. I'm not sure what you would call the expression on the face, but it's really cute. I love the eyes. They have lots of detail. And I really love the blush and the little nose and the lips. I think the face looks so beautiful. My favorite thing for sure is the hair though. So much detail and it looks so cute. I love the really muted colors on this figure. It's really beautiful. I'm notorious for getting the one on the cover though. So I think it's fun that that's how we started out. And we have our second box. Let's go ahead and open our second box and see who I get. One, two, three. 
We got the one that I was so excited about. This is our beautiful card captor Sakura one. And here's the card for this one. And it is a different color from the first card. So it looks like they might come in different colors. And I love this one. The color for it is my favorite out of all of them. It's this beautiful eggplanty purple. It's so spectacular. And I love the intricate details of the outfit. It kind of looks like it's supposed to look thorny. And we do have flowers all over it. I just love the mauve purpley color. It's so good. And this one is wearing a beret with lots of ribbons and flowers on it. And I do love the hair. I think the hair is so great. And look at this beautiful wand. I love the clear vinyl. I love the kind of amethyst crystals on the inside of the wand. And this wand did come separate from the figure. So you did have to put it in, but it's slotted in super nicely. I knew when I saw the photos on Kika Goods, this was going to be my favorite one. So I don't think we're going to really have anything that tops it. And let's go ahead and grab our third box. This one got a bit beat up in transit, but I think it's going to be okay. It's really nice that they do put them all in plastic, whether they come with the wand separate or not. And let's see what the third one is that I got. One, two, three. Oh, cute. It's the beautiful blue one with brown hair. And since the stand didn't fall out, let me show you this stand because we do have a drawing on it. It just says Coco Yaz wardrobe story. And here's the card for this one. And it's blue. So, so far, a different color. And this figure is really cute. It was probably my least favorite in this series, but I think it's adorable. It doesn't have a wand. It's holding a little satchel bag, but we can see the cute bow details on the back of the head and in the hair. They are really awesome. And the big bow, of course, in the back. And I do love the cute little bonnet style hair that it's wearing. And I definitely have to say so far, I think these blue eyes are my favorite. They look spectacular. They do have the similar expressions in terms of the face and the hand position. And definitely this dress has a shiny metallic look to it. It's not the same matte we've had for the other outfits. And the stands for these ones have been easy to put on. Haven't had any difficulty yet, but I'll let you know if it continues like that. And we're on our fourth box, so we're almost halfway through the video. And let's go ahead and open this one. And who did we get for our fourth box? Oh, look at this one. Oh, this one is so cute. I love the pink. And inside we have the stand and the cute heart accessory. And here's the card for this one. Wow, I love this one. I think this outfit so far might be my favorite. I really love the black and pink. And the dress on this one is metallic. So it does have a metallic sheen to it. It's very similar to the blue one in terms of the sheen to it. And this one is clearly star themed, which I love. I love anything that has stars all over it, especially in pink and black. And I love the layers on this dress. So many layers and so many big bows. It's really cute. And this one's hair is just like a, a simple do. It's definitely the simplest hair so far. The only thing I would say bad about this one is definitely the paint job on the feet could be a lot better. The feet are a bit sloppy, which is too bad because this one has quite a short dress. So you can see the feet pretty easily. But I love the accessory for this one. The big heart kind of mallet is so cute. It looks like you could just bop someone on the head with it. Really cute accessory. Overall, this one is adorable. Definitely one of my favorites. And we're officially halfway through the case, so four more left. And who am I going to get for our fifth box? Let's see. Oh, cute. This is the cute strawberry one. And this
this one is all about the strawberries. Strawberry details everywhere. And it looks like it's wearing an apron. And the accessory is a cute basket with some baguettes in it. Looks really adorable. If you're a big fan of red, I'm sure this would be a favorite or strawberries. And of course, lots of bow details and ruffles. This one is really cute. I love the color of hair on this one. The color of the hair is such a nice burgundy. And this one's wearing a really cute hat that's kind of tilted on the hair with some rose detail. And this is the first one we have where the hand isn't in the same position as the other one. So on this one, the hand is in the down position. And that's the beautiful strawberry one. And let's go ahead and open our six box. One, two, three. Oh, this one's the really cute one. Oh, I love this one. This one's the one with the umbrella. Here's the umbrella and the stand. Sometimes the stands have two pegs or just one. And this is another one with its hand in the down position. And I love this one. This one has beautiful colors. It's just so cute with the kind of blondy brown hair and the white and the pink of the dress. And we have a more raspberry pink as well on the back and a more burgundy as well. This one, of course, has tons of bow detail. And I really like the hair on the back of it. It looks like a pretzel braid with that bow that matches the bow on the dress. And of course, the paint on the dress for this one is metallic as well. It doesn't really have much of a shift. It's more of a metallic pink on the edges and then the metallic white. But I also really like the eyes. The eyes are this purpley color. It's really beautiful. Yeah, this one is super cute. Definitely one of my favorites for this series. And let's move on to the next box. This one looks like it probably has an accessory in its hand. Yeah, oh, and this one is another one with the metallic paint on the hair. And here is the green card for this one. And this one is incredible. I really love the hair. I don't know if you can tell the color shift on the paint. I think on camera, it just looks a beautiful strawberry blonde, but it is strawberry blonde with a very vibrant pink shift to it. It looks really cool in the light. I absolutely love it. I hope we can see it a bit on camera, but it's super cute. I love the hair color for this one. It's adorable. And the outfit for this one has so many details going on, different shades of green. And then all over we have some gold hearts. And this one also is holding a little cute fan which looks adorable. I think the real only letdown with this one is just that the eyes just don't have that spark for me. I think the eyes on this one should have been a really bright green color. They're a very faded kind of beigey green. But it's really cute. I love the hair. I think the metallic shift on the hair really makes this one special. And we're on the last box. So if we have a look here, we have everything for our top row, except for this one. And we have all of our second row and all of the third row, except for the secret edition. So these are the two we are missing. The teddy bear one, and then the really cool secret edition. This one is amazing. Let's go ahead and see who is in our last box of Coco Yeah wardrobe story. I'm really excited to see. I'm pretty sure this is the bear one though. It feels really light. So I don't think it's the secret, but let's see. One, two, three. Oh, we got the bear one and it is so cute. Look at those glasses. And here is our last card. So everyone had a different color. And this one is dark academia themed. It has all the beiges and the browns and it kind of looks like a cookie of some sort. Very biscuity in terms of appearance. And of course, the super cute bows and the really cute glasses. I think the glasses are my favorite part of this one. Besides the super cute bear mallet. It's just like the heart one. It looks like you could thump someone over the head with it. And this one has its hand up to its face. So it looks like there's only two that don't have their hands up to their face. And this one is really cute with its white hair. I think it looks adorable. Lots of cute heart details. And I do love the colors on this one. I think it goes really well together. I definitely would have preferred the secret edition, but 
This one's still really cute. And that was our last figure for today's video. So here's a look at the full collection of Coco Ya Wardrobe Story. And I do love that all of the cards come in different colors. I know there's a few other series that do that as well. And I think that's just a nice touch. What do you think about these Lolita figures? Are you a really big fan? And if so, what was your favorite one that I unboxed in today's video? And are you interested in picking these up? As I said before, during my live stream, a lot of people said that they had bought in a few boxes of these. So I would love to know in the comments if you have any of these and which one you ended up getting. I think if I hadn't gotten a full case, I would have loved to have gotten this one. And of course the one we got at the beginning with the gray iridescent pear. And of course the card captor Sakura themed dark purple one. That one's definitely my favorite out of them all. But I think those are my three favorites from today's video. And thank you again to Kika Goods for gifting me the full case. And if you're going to do an order through Kika Goods, go ahead and use Luna at checkout for that 10% off. And thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll be sure to see you on the next unboxing.